Well, in part one, uh, we laid down an underpainting for our cloudy sky. Now I'm going to come in and uh, refine that and uh, make it just a, a little bit more detailed. Now what I'm starting with is I'm, I'm going back to my white and I'm uh, laying in a heavier coat. And there are a couple of reasons for this. One, I'm, uh, I'm going to add some detail uh, in the, uh, particularly along the edges of the clouds and uh, underneath. But um, again, as uh, when I'm doing a uh, performance chalk drawing and I need to hide a, a black light picture in the sky, then I need a fairly heavy coat of white. And uh, so part of what I'll be doing is uh, laying a foundation for uh, doing the black light picture that I'll show you in a later video uh, how I do that. But uh, I also want to uh, kind of improve the, the cloud shapes a little bit. So, uh, so that's what I'm going to start with. And again, I'm uh, going to lay down the uh, the the white and as you can see I'm smoothing it out and, and again part of that is for uh, the purpose of uh, uh, being able to draw on top of that when I draw with the black light chalk uh, you saw me picking some things out what's happening is uh, sometimes in this uh, with this lecturer's chalk you'll find little uh, hard pieces almost like little stones they're really pieces of chalk that have just uh, not gotten mixed in well, but uh, they can really be irritating because they can't actually scratch the paper if uh, if they're hard enough. So uh, when I find one, I, I stop and try to get that out. All right, now as I, as I lay in some of this white down in the blue, uh, it is going to blend with that blue, make it a little lighter. Uh, and so I'm, I'm doing, uh, it's kind of a combination here of, of lightening some of that uh, blue chalk as well as laying in a little bit more white. Now again, if I were doing a just a, a regular landscape, my cloud would not be quite uh, quite as large as that. Uh, but uh, again, because of the need to to conceal a black light picture, that's uh, that's why I'm laying in so much uh, base white here. Okay, I'm going to come down again to the lower clouds and uh, I'm going to just keep layering in on top, doing the edges of the, the clouds. You know, at, at this point, even though those, uh, uh, I, I've been drawing mostly sky with blue, when I get lower like this, sometimes uh, uh, you can't really tell where the, the sky ends and the clouds begin. And uh, so as I, uh, as I add in this detail, and uh, blend a little bit. Uh, you'll see uh, in just a, a little bit uh, later in the video that uh, uh, I'll uh, I'll add in edges that will turn some of that blue into lower and more distant clouds. And so uh, so that's a, basically what's going on right here. Going to come up on the left side and add a again a little white in to what could be sky, but also can turn into a a blue cloud bank on the right side of the paper. If you're working with uh, lecturer's chalk, uh, almost like with uh, with oil and other paints, you, you use a lot of white. And uh, so if you want to get into this, uh, plan to buy, uh, I'd probably buy, I probably buy five white sticks for every colored stick I buy, or maybe even more than that. It probably is more than that, but okay. Now I'm going to go through, I'm, I'm just uh, smoothing out those edges again. I'm going to come back in again and refine them. But right now I just wanted to add a little bit more cloud shape to them. Uh, now I am going to begin to lay in and, and I'm not putting much pressure on down here. I'm just very lightly coming in with the white and, uh, uh suggesting more distant clouds uh, using a little bit of aerial and atmospheric perspective to uh, give the feel of, of distance uh, there. And again, I'm coming in and putting more white. You can see how much white you use when you do this. Now, actually what I'm doing at this point is, is I'm deliberately laying in the white very heavily and I'm not, uh, not smoothing at this time. I actually want uh, the, uh, 
the strokes to appear because they will also help conceal what I draw in the sky later when I uh, draw the blacklight picture. In, in this case, the blacklight picture is going to be uh, the, a large eagle's head with another eagle in flight and some mountains and uh, a lake. So uh, I, I don't want any of that invisible chalk to show up. So uh, I am uh, at this point putting in that heavy load of white. Now, the last thing that I'm going to do is begin to refine uh, detail. And I don't put just a ton of detail in uh, when I do these clouds. And there's a reason for that. When, I, when I'm doing a chalk drawing um, in, in a typical auditorium uh, or if I'm at a church or speaking to a group, uh, people are often as far as 30, 40 feet away from my easel as I draw. And a lot of the detail that I would put in uh, tends to be lost. They, they, don't, uh, they don't see it anyway. So uh, again, I just want to come in and, and suggest a little bit of highlights on the clouds. Uh, not just going to a great deal of detail but enough to, to give a feel of uh, the sun hitting the clouds at some point. And now as I come down to the bottom, again, I'm kind of converting some of that blue into distant cloud banks. And I just do that by using white and, and kind of putting an edge on those clouds. Same up there in that uh, left side of the paper. I'm going to do a little bit more over toward the right. I have a very small piece that I'm working with here. Uh, obviously, uh, normally the chalk is, uh, as I said in the last video, uh, uh, three inches long by one inch squared, but uh, this is just a, a chunk that I'm working with uh, to get a little bit more detail. And again, refine some of the detail on the side there. And that's pretty much it. Now I'm ready to begin working on uh, my Eagle Blacklight. Gonna lay in just a little bit more thick white to hide my blacklight picture, but I'm about ready to go. So uh, next step is drawing the eagle and uh, the eagle outline, and I'll see you in the next video.